It's estimated two out of three drivers will get in an accident during their lifetime. And our producer, Leslie Marcus, investigated what's driving risky behavior on the roads. She never lets us down. Take a look. This right here is Los Angeles, the city of dreams and the city of traffic. But no matter where you live, you know driving is dangerous. In fact, in 2016, six million people got into an accident in this country. That's more people that live in the entire state of Colorado. So today, we're gonna meet up with a forensic scientist who studies accidents, and he's gonna show us the most dangerous driving behaviors and teach us how we can be safer drivers on the road. There's a ton we can learn right here in the parking lot. Okay, so let's set up the horizontal position. You want a 90 degree angle in your ankle, slight bend in your knee. Can you put your wrist on the top of the steering wheel for me? No. Okay, so let's move you a little bit forward. This works. Good. Lean your head up against the window. Now position this mirror so you can just see the edge of your vehicle. You want that to be centered, just like most people set it up. Okay. So now that you're set up, Leslie, let's hit the road. Let's do it. That guy just cut us off. <laughs> She's changed lanes like four times. Let's see if it happens again. Nope. Blinker, again. Oh my God, look at that woman over there. To walk two lanes of traffic. Yeah, she gave the bird, yeah. Up on the curb, classic narcissistic behavior. This is the problem with city driving these days. There's so much information now. There's probably 17 things to look at in that one intersection alone. It's all playing a role. So we're gonna hop on the 101 freeway. We're gonna check out some high speed situations. Oh, and there we go, take a look at that white car. He just went into an on-ramp to pass the vehicle in front of him. Totally dangerous. Passing on the right-hand side. Okay, so this guy right here. He's tailgating, and if there was an emergency situation right now, he would not have time to react at 60 miles per hour. It can take over 300 feet to completely stop your vehicle over the length of a football field. How fast do you think he's going? About 90 miles an hour. Watch the brake right now. So we're looking at like over 400 feet of braking distance he's gonna need to stop his vehicle. It's easy to travel too close. People start to get distracted. They're, they're checking their phones, they're turning on the radio, they're talking oh to their friends. Oh my gosh, you see that guy crossed over everything just to brake. You know, the number one thing that I'm seeing here, Leslie, is the lane changes. People are not signaling their intention. And the net result of that is you decrease reaction time, leading to more accidents. Well, Jeff, you made it through your LA driving experience. What do you think of that madness that we witnessed today? We saw some great examples of why you need to stay alert behind the wheel. Cheers to keeping it safe out there.